This is a video comparison of the Harbor Freight Predator 3200 2.8 gallon per minute pressure washer with the Predator 223 cc engine compared to the Simpson 3400 PSI 2.5 gallon per minute pressure washer sold at Tractor Supply Company with the CRX 225 cc engine. And just right off the bat, I think these are the same engines. I think they're probably both made by Lifan or one of the other Chinese OEMs as a tier one supplier for both of these brands. Um, I do a lot of research before I buy anything just because I hate buyer's remorse and I like to get as much value as I can for my money. Uh, both of these units uh, I picked up for different reasons. The Predator I picked up uh, because I, I like the form factor. I like the, the dolly style or, or the um, hand truck style chassis as opposed to the dolly style or some people call it a wheelbarrow style chassis for the Simpson. <coughs> the Predator has... Uh, better reviews, actually. Both of these pressure washers have about 300 reviews on their respective websites. At the time of this video, the Predator only has like two one-star reviews, whereas the Simpson has, I think, 20 or 22 one-star reviews. And I don't know if that's just a difference in uh, the consumers for those two stores or the fact that the Predator has, you know, you can get the, the no questions asked extended warranty. <clears throat> and it also comes with a 90-day uh, no questions asked warranty free replacement from Harbor Freight. Whereas the Simpson, you have, a, I think, a 30-day return period with tractor supply and then a two-year warranty on the pump and a two-year warranty on the motor. And then you can buy an additional protection plan as well uh, for the Simpson through tractor supply. That additional protection plan, I think, is offered through Assurian, and it's $60 for a two-year plan. That's free replacement, and that, that kicks in after the manufacturer's warranty expires. So you pay for that warranty today. You can't use it until the manufacturer's warranty is expired two years from now but you get a total, a total of four years of coverage. <clears throat> I have not researched the factory warranty yet to see what it excludes. Uh, some brands do exclude quite a bit. For instance, the Power Horse brand at Northern Tool, if you read up on their pressure washer warranty, it excludes seals. So if seals in the pump go bad, they don't cover that, so you're on your own. So make sure you read the fine print on any machine you're researching. So again, uh, the Predator definitely has fewer negative reviews to you know about a 10X factor over the Simpson. Not sure why that is because they seem to be very, very similar. I'll go over both units, pros and cons for both, uh, and what I like about each one and what I don't like about each one. For the Predator, I love the form factor. Uh, I like the nice, tall handle. I like the fact that with just the twist of two knobs, you can fold the handle down for storage. It makes the machine very, very compact. Uh, basically makes it into like a cube that's about two feet by two feet. Um, great for storing in the garage and getting out of the way. What I don't like about it is the ho hose storage is a little wonky. It doesn't quite grab the hose as well as I'd like, but it works okay. I do like the tips it comes with, very high quality tips. I like the tip holder. Tips come in and out very easily. It actually comes with a brass soap tip, whereas the Simpson comes with a plastic soap tip. <clears throat> Both machines are very easy to start and get running. I think the, the Predator took three pulls out of the box to get started, whereas the Simpson started actually on the first pull, which was kind of surprising. Now, on any pressure washer, the most important part of it is the pump. And on these homeowner type machines, most people will tell you that the pump's going to fail long before the engine does. It doesn't matter if it's a Briggs & Stratton, Kohler, Predator, a Honda GCV, whatever it might be, the pump is the weak link. So the kind of the cool thing about the Predator and the reason I initially uh, sought it out is when I was researching those on the internet, somebody actually pointed out that they use an AR branded pump. So it's still an axial cam pump. Try to get the phone to focus here but it is a name brand pump with a brass head. So out of, as far as axial pam pumps go, it's a pretty good one, or at least it should be. The Simpson uses their own house brand, uh, OEM brand, which is their, their house brand uh, pump. And it is an aluminum headed axial cam pump. So in theory, it's not as robust as the AR pump because of the brass head, but I think only time will tell on this. Now, one thing I want to note, uh, when you go look at the Simpson at Tractor Supply, all over the box, it's got plastered, you know, the, the words made in the USA and then the fine print with global materials. The engine appears to be from the same factory as the Predator, and the pump is made in China. So it's a Chinese pump, Chinese engine, but they're claiming it's made in the USA. So I don't know what part of it's made in the USA. I don't know if, if you know, if it's just assembled here or what, but I, I found that kind of misleading and, and just be aware that if you're like me, I try to buy Made in the USA whenever I can, but there's not much USA on this machine. 
Okay, so as far as performance, uh, or differences rather, uh, again, the form factor is different. The Predator, the hose connects to the rear of the wand, whereas in the Simpson, it connects in the middle, right before the trigger guard. It changes the balance a little bit. And the Predator wand is a little bit longer. So if you're trying to reach up high to clean your house or whatever, it does give you, I don't know, maybe another five or six inches of reach, which is really nice. Um, and I like the fact that it's got the uh, non-pneumatic wheels on it so you don't have to worry about putting air in them because it seems like every time you go to pull something out like this to use it, it's got a flat tire. However, the Simpsons pneumatic tires do pull across the yard much, much nicer. It's a little, it's quite a bit easier to pull across the yard than the Predator, but on a hard surface like a pool deck, they're six, one half dozen the other. Okay, uh, so again, the Predator does have a soap tank, which is nice if you always use the same kind of detergent because you can just fill it up and keep using it. The Simpson comes with a siphon tube, so you can change detergents. You don't have to worry about emptying the tank when you're done. So that's kind of nice. Uh, that's really just a personal preference on one, which one you like there. Probably the biggest difference that I noticed about these machines and is really, to me, a big plus up for the Simpson is that it's got a throttle. So you can run it wide open for max power, or you can idle it down if you need to you know, set the gun down for a second. It you know, drastically reduces the noise. And you can also use this to vary the pressure of the pump. Neither one of these pumps have uh, manual pressure adjusters on them, like your, tri your uh, triplex style pumps that come on the commercial machines. But the pump is spinning the same speed as the engine, so if you slow the engine down, it does slow the pressure of the pump down. I actually used that today uh, when I was washing my pool screens. I turned the, the throttle down so as not to damage the screens, and it worked, worked great. Both of these machines appear to put out about the same amount of power. Uh, I would not give... I don't think there's a discernible difference between either one. Uh, in fact, I think the ratings on both of them are probably a little exaggerated. Um, on the Predator, if you look up that pump on AR's website, it's rated, I think, at uh, 3,000 pounds and 2.5 GPMs. I'm not sure how they're claiming to get, you know, 3,200 and 2.5 out of it. And I'm assuming it's pretty similar ratings for the Simpson pump as well. So really, again, it comes down to form factor. Both of them clean about the same, uh, and, and warranty coverage is obviously better out of the box with the Simpson, but again, I haven't tested that warranty. I do plan on calling them tomorrow and, and just seeing how that process works just uh, before I decide which unit to keep, because I'm going to keep one and return the other. But I thought this was a, a good chance to compare both of them. I did clean my pool deck and my pool enclosure today with it. Uh, I didn't get up there yet because I, I didn't have a ladder out, but... The rest of the pool enclosure and screens cleaned up very nicely. Both of them did a great job. Um, one thing I did notice that I much preferred over the Simpson is that the exhaust is facing away from the side where the pressure hose comes out. So when you're pressure washing, typically this is going to be the side of the machine you're on. The exhaust is facing away from you. Cuts down on noise quite a bit, whereas on the Predator, the exhaust is facing you, uh, is facing the same direction as the uh, high pressure hose. I'll also say that as far as ease of access and controls, <clears throat> and again, you can see the nice brass head on this pump. Um, this one's a little more finicky to get hooked up because the hose is kind of laying across the wheel here and it's just, it's, it's not quite as easy. It's not horrible, it's not bad. Um, and the biggest difference is definitely filling and checking the oil because both oil plugs, your, both your dipstick and your fill plug are behind the wheel. So it's kind of finicky to get access to. On the Simpson, you have better access to both hose connections. They're just right out here in the open, as is the oil dipstick and fill tube. And you can see, again, these engines look extremely familiar, uh, ext extremely uh, similar. Not sure if they're made in the same factory or not. Um, there are some slight differences. I've noticed, uh, for instance, this one doesn't have torque sequences on the back of the case, whereas on the Predator it does. So they may not be the same exact engine, but they're very, very similar. They're both Honda clones. They both start up, uh, no problem, run great. Uh, not sure which one's gonna be, be, be the better engine over the long haul. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can see the, the storage on the wand for the Simpson is pretty straightforward as well. Uh, it comes with nice tips too. These appear to be brass, whereas the Predator are stainless steel. And the soap nozzle on the Simpson is just plastic, which I thought was kind of chintzy. Uh, but again, they're easy to get in and out of this dashboard. It's a rubber insert of some sort. And they do give you an extra full set of tips. Whereas the Predator, I think it gives you extras of, I think, these three. Or maybe it's these two. I don't remember off the top of my head. 
The Simpson does come ready to run right out of the box. They do give you the oil for it. The Predator does not. So if you're buying the Predator, pick up a quart of 10W30 oil. That's what it runs on. It takes, uh, I think, right at half a quart of oil. Same thing for uh, the, the Simpson. It takes about the same amount of oil. But again, very similar machines. These are not commercial machines. They don't put out the power of a, uh, like a MyTM, you know, 4,000 PSI, 4 GPM unit you could rent from like Home Depot or someplace like that. Uh, but they are a significant step up from an electric pressure washer and will do everything I need to do around the house between washing the boat, cleaning the pool deck. Uh, I am gonna use them to wash the cars with a foam cannon. And I think that's probably where the Simpsons gonna went out with that variable speed engine with the, with the throttle, being able to throttle it down. Uh, intermittently I think will be a big advantage over the Predator. One more thing I think was an advantage to the Simpson is the quality of the hose. You can see how much nicer the hose is laying there. That's their Morflex branded hose. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be more durable or not, but it does uh, wind up easier and it is easier to handle. It doesn't fight you quite as much as you can see the Harbor Freight hose, even after multiple attempts, it's still kind of fight me there to hang nicely. If you're gonna buy one of these, I would recommend buying an extra 25 feet of hose, really makes them much more usable uh, and much less of a hassle. Right now, Tractor Supply has the best deal on the extra length of hose. I think they had their 25 foot Morflex hose from Simpson was, I wanna say 32 or $34 on sale right now, which is a good bit cheaper than some of the other stores. But again, it just comes down to what you want. If you want the most warranty coverage, for the least amount of money, the Simpson is probably the best deal. I just don't know how much of a hassle the factory warranty is going to be to deal with. I think once you get into that protection plan period, it'll be pretty straightforward. Uh, the folks at Tractor Supply said you just bring it back and they hand you a new one or give your money back. On the Predator, obviously Harbor Freight's famous for their protection plan. Um, I, you can get just the regular 90-day warranty, no questions asked. Uh, it comes with that, or you can pay the additional. Again, I think it was either 130 or 140 bucks for the two-year protection plan. Uh, so if you're going to, you know, treat it bad, leave it out in the weather and just use and abuse it, the Harbor Freight is probably the way to go because you can just take it in and swap it out for a new one. Whereas if you're going to take care of your stuff and you want the maximum coverage possible for the dollar, the Simpsons is probably the better bet. That's about it. Uh, both cleaned equally well. Uh, both were pretty easy to start. Um, no complaints there. Like I said, the Simpson just had a little bit easier access, a better hose, um, rolls easier in the yard. The Harbor Freight has a better, I think, form factor, is going to be easier to store, uh, potentially has a better pump that might be more reliable. It does, you know, you can see it even looks a little more beefy than the Simpson pump, just on the size of it in general. Uh, and it is an AR branded pump, which those are highly regarded in you know, the commercial pressure washer world. So it really just comes down to, to what you want as far as, you know, do you value the warranty coverage? Do you value the better pump? If I was gonna buy either one of these without getting the extended warranty, I would probably go for the Predator just because I think that pump is you know, probably a little bit better quality and you can buy them on Amazon for like 180 bucks if you had to replace it. So I think that's probably the route I would go just for the, the, the peace of mind of having a better pump. Whereas if you're near a tractor supply and you have a Simpson authorized service center near you, you're getting more coverage for your money. Again, this one was 350 plus 130 or 40 for the two year plan. This one was on sale for $299. That was, both are on sale. Uh, the Simpson was $299 and the two-year protection plan was $60. Um, and you have 30 days to return it uh, to a tractor supply without either warranty and 90 days on the Harbor Freight. That's it. I uh, hope you like it. Hope this makes your, your research a little easier. Uh, again, power-wise, cleaning-wise, there wasn't much, if any, difference at all between the two. Uh, I just think the Simpson was a little more convenient to use. I think the Harbor Freight will be a little more convenient to store. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this, please like and subscribe to help out the channel, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good night.